Unit 2 Grammar Presentation Greetings We use greetings to say hello to people. The greeting we use can be formal or informal. This depends on if the person is a friend, a family member, a client, or a stranger. When you first meet a client, it is a good idea to use a formal greeting. The client can respond with a formal greeting or they can indicate closeness with an informal greeting. With time, you will probably use informal greetings with your client. Formal greetings 1. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. These are formal ways of saying hello, which change depending on the time of day. Remember that good night is only used to say goodbye. So, if you meet someone late in the day, you greet them with good evening rather than good night. Good morning can be made more casual by simply saying morning. You can also use afternoon or evening as informal greetings, but these are less commonly used. 2. It's nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. These greetings are formal and polite. If you say this to someone when you meet him or her for the first time, you will seem courteous. Remember only to use these greetings the first time you meet someone. Next time you see the person, you can show that you remember him or her by saying it's nice to see you again. 3. How have you been? This greeting question is only asked by people who have already met. If someone asks you, How have you been? They want to know if you have been well since the last time the two of you met. 4. How do you do? This greeting is very formal and quite uncommon, but some older people still use it. The proper response is, I'm doing well, or, as strange as it seems, some people even ask, how do you do, as an answer. Informal greetings 1. Hey, hi. You can use hey and hi to greet someone instead of hello. Both are particularly popular among younger people. While hi is appropriate to use in any casual situation, Hey is for people who have already met. If you say hey to a stranger, it might be confusing for that person because he or she will try to remember when you met before.
remember that hey doesn't always mean hello. Hey can also be used to call for someone's attention. Two. How are you? How's it going? How are you doing? These are casual ways of asking if the person is well. You can answer with, It's going well, or I'm doing well, depending on the question. Although it's not grammatically correct, most people just answer, Good. And you can too. You can also Follow your answer by asking, and you? Three. What's up? What's new? What's going on? These are other informal ways to ask, how are you? They are typically used to greet someone you have met before. Most people answer with nothing or not much. If it feels right to make small talk, you can briefly describe a new or interesting thing in your life and ask what about you to continue the conversation. Four. How's everything? How are things? How's life? These are some other common ways of asking, How are you? They are most often used to greet someone you already know. To these questions, you can answer, Good or Not bad. Again, if small talk feels appropriate, you could also briefly share any interesting news about your life and then ask the person, what about you? Or another greeting question. Five. How's your day? How's your day going? How's your morning? How's your afternoon? These questions are very similar to how are you? They refer not only to right now, but to how you have been all day. You can use these greetings later in the day and with someone you see regularly. For example, if your client is awake when you arrive, ask them, how's your morning? The grammatically correct response is, it's going well. But many people answer with, fine, good, or, all right. Notice that good, fine, or not bad are perfect answers to almost any greeting question. Six. Good to see you. Nice to see you. These casual greetings are used with friends, workmates, or family members that you haven't seen in a while. It is common for close friends to hug when they greet each other, particularly if they haven't seen each other in a long time. So, you might use this greeting with a hug 
or handshake depending on your relationship with the person. It is not common for English speakers to give two kisses when they say hello. They prefer to shake hands or simply to smile. Good friends and relatives often hug. 